Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. Here I am doing a vlog and it is going to be uploaded tonight to make it live tomorrow which is today. That's kind of confusing. Um, so today, uh, tomorrow is my 30th birthday. 30! What the heck? So to celebrate my 30th birthday I decided to do a give you guys the chance to ask me 30 questions and I got loads and loads of questions and a lot of the same question um, so I've kind of compiled them and all the ones that are kind of the same but just asked kind of differently I've compiled all them as well and there's a couple of bonus questions at the end because there were so many I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give super detailed answers I'm gonna keep them as short as possible and I'm also gonna try and give myself a three minute time limit on this so that should be interesting i'll probably go way over that but i'm just going to set myself three minutes anyway and i just want to take this opportunity to apologize of about my absence this year and also last year i didn't vlog a heck of a lot last year and this year i've done even worse even though i was like i'm gonna vlog more this year i'm you know i'm gonna try and make up for last year um this year and it hasn't happened i've been extremely extremely busy um and which you guys will all find out about um, um, eventually and it's one of the questions in this as well um, about my new business but anyway let's just crack into it so I'm going to give myself three minutes to get through all 30 questions and try and answer all 30 questions so forgive me if my answers are quite short timer starts now was there an age where I knew I wanted to be settled down by no I was honestly by the time when I was 16 and still didn't have a boyfriend I was like oh my gosh what's wrong with me and then I met my boyfriend that summer and I married him how many kids did we want when we got married I think we wanted three who was my biggest inspiration in life um two people um one who's still close to me is probably my auntie DB. I really like her and she is just super inspirational because she always told me that she started from started from the bottom, now we're here, or something, whatever the song is, I don't know, something like that. Um, and the other person is Helen Keller, and I know that's super cheesy and super corny, but that woman, damn, she's amazing. I mean, if you can get through life, like, deaf, dumb, and blind, like, anyone should be able to get through life. What is the best thing about New Zealand? I love New Zealand because it is, it's a small country, we're surrounded by water, we, although it's kind of a bad thing sometimes, I really do like the fact that we are so isolated. It means we're isolated from lots of bad stuff, but it also means getting shipping for anything on the other side of the world just like costs a bomb. Anything I get shipped from anywhere costs so much money because it has to come from the other side of the world. What do you like to do for yourself when you get out alone? Just go for coffee with friends. That's honestly, that is just one of my favorite things to do is just catch up with my friends and over something yummy and sweet and I don't have coffee because I don't drink coffee. So I have like a raspberry and coke or something. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, literally probably right here. <laughs> what do you see yourself doing in five years? Um, I hope that my business will be booming and that Martin and I have gone on holiday, please. Lord, let us go on holiday in the next five years. Knowing what you know about your whole journey now, if you could go back, what would you tell yourself? I would tell my, that cannot be three minutes, seriously, surely not. Um, I would tell myself to have patience and to feel blessed that I know I'm gonna get to this, the end of this journey and have three kids because there are people still on this journey who I know and message me now to this day who have been following me from the beginning and they still don't have a family. So I would go back and I'd say to myself, suck it up girlfriend because you are gonna be where so many other people wanna be. My earliest memory, okay this is gonna be a little bit weird and random, but honestly my earliest memory is of me laying down next to this coffee table. It's a cane type coffee ca table. I can see it vividly in my memory. Um, it's got a glass top, it had magazines in the bottom rack. Um, and I remember my mum changing my nappy. So I would have been quite young. And I remember telling my mum, she's like, what you cannot remember that. And I told her the coffee table and she's like, what? That is so weird that I remembered that coffee table and I knew my mum was changing my nappy. Strange. Favourite memory as a child? Honestly, my favourite memory as a child and I think it's my fondest memory because of how the world is now. But my favourite memory is just spending countless hours roaming the town going to other friends houses and I'm talking like seven eight nine years old just 
going out to the countryside, playing in the rivers, going climbing trees, like those are my fondest memories of my childhood. What can we know about your business? Seriously, I am not hiding my business from anybody for any particular reason. I'm not even hiding it. I just literally, I have just not had the time. Business is booming so well that it, that is the reason why I have not been on YouTube because my business has taken off and I've had to put Micah and Kier on a Friday all day because I just am getting like so much business in, which is a great thing, but I'm like, I wasn't quite prepared for that. And so now I'm trying to not get swamped. So um, you will know about my business as soon as I really, I get my camera out into the shed and show you. So it could be tomorrow, it could be the next day. What are your favorite YouTube channels and what are they about? Okay, I know some people are a bit iffy about this guy, but I'm not gonna lie, I really like Logan Paul. I can't believe I'm admitting that, but he's just got so much energy and just the way his vlogs are edited. I know he's got someone that does it for him and stuff, but whatever. And I don't know, they're just, they're really high energy and I just really like those about him. And another YouTube channel which is really close to my heart is Kyle and Court because I've been following her since the beginning, like, Ever since I've been on YouTube, I've been following Courtney and Kyle. I just think they're the cutest little family. And honestly, I reckon if I was in their country, they would be my friends. I would totally be friends with them and we would be having dinner dates together and our kids would be having play dates together. It's just how it is. Courtney, you are a gem. You are so cute and I totally think we would be friends. Um, and another YouTube channel I used to watch but don't anymore because they don't make you videos anymore really is Lucy Eads or the Eads family they don't do any vlogging anymore also watch them from the beginning and kind of followed along their journey at the same time as mine um, when you were told you had fertility issues did you think that was the end of your family no I didn't I was just like it's all good there's fertility treatments out there we'll just pop some climate it'll be fine uh, when nearly two years later and climate hadn't didn't work and um, Paragon injections didn't work then then I didn't then I thought it was the end of my family I started looking at adoption I started looking at um, uh, fostering kids and in New Zealand like adoption isn't as easy well adoption's not easy anyway but in New Zealand a lot of kids get adopted out into their families so normal closed adoption is very rare um, but right at the very start I was like yeah we'll, we'll be fine was IVF really awful to be honest no like you do the injections, you get used to it. I think the most awful bit of IVF, and it's not even the egg collection, which was extremely painful for me, the worst bit for me was the waiting. The waiting every day to get your blood test results, to be like, mm, it's not going well, yes, it's going well. And the ultrasound results, is it going well? Do you have enough follicles? Do you not have enough follicles? Are they a good size? The phone call to say your embryo has survived this day, that day, that day, that day. And then the call to be like, your embryo didn't make it. Um, through thawing, you know, the thawing process. You know what? All of that, that is the bit that is awful. Honestly, everything else, you just suck it up and you do it because you know the end result could be a baby. If you could have any famous person at your 30th, who would it be? Oh my gosh, who would it be? Logan Paul? No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, he's dead, but you know what? I find Michael Jackson to be completely and utterly fascinating and I am really gutted that he died before I got to go to his one of his concerts because his music is just it's iconic and I love it and it reminds me of the good old days and yeah now now he's died. Where's your favourite place to visit? Um, in New Zealand it is Taupo. We go there all the time because it's not too far away. I mean it's a good drive, but it's not too far away that you can't that you only get there like once every two years or something. When the world would I like to visit and why? Oh, I put that under two questions. Whoops. Um, I would <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not much of a traveler. Um, I do hope my mum can go on a holiday sometime, but I am a homebody. I love my home comforts. So to be honest, I, I would not be good with anywhere that didn't speak English. Um, and I'm kind of scared of America. It seems kind of big and, and scary, but um, where in the world would I like to visit? I really wanna go to Disneyland. Uh, one day I would love to go to Disneyland. I just love everything about Disney. If I could pass on one piece of advice to my kids, what would it be? Um, um, be kind to people because you just don't know what is going on in their lives. Favorite book, definitely, definitely Helen Keller. Love Helen Keller, easy book, go get it out, read it, amazing story. Favorite color, definitely pink. I love pink. What was your career before having kids? 
So I, early, early on, I worked at a cafe when I was at high school and then I went from there to working in before and after school and holiday programs. After that, I did um, my proper career, I guess, was the wedding videography. I did that for a good, I don't know, four or five years, I think. And I was still doing that when I started YouTube. Do you feel like you have more patience with your kids now than when you were younger? To be honest, I was probably, probably about the same. I don't think my patience has really changed that much. I'm probably wearing a little bit thinner because I have less sleep and more children. What is something you would tell yourself at age 20? Um, I would tell myself to enjoy spontaneity because there ain't none of that these days. What is something you have hoped to have done, learned or changed by 40? I hope that I have a um, good income and that Martin and I can build or buy a really nice new home and make it somewhere that we stay for life and our kids and grandkids can grow up knowing that place and build lots and lots of memories there. I just hope by 40, I'm, I just hope I'm happy. I just hope that whatever I am doing by the time I'm 40, I'm happy. What do you plan to do when all the kids are in kindy or school? That, my friend, is a very good question and I ask myself that every single day. I hope that my business is booming and that is what I will be doing when they go to school. I will be doing it hopefully full time. What are some life lessons you have learned over the past 30 years? I have learned that um, God really does come to the rescue when you need him to. The other life lessons I have learned is, sounds bad, but no matter how much you trust someone, some people just let you down, unfortunately. That just happens in life and I've learned to just keep chugging along. What are your goals for the next 10 years? To be honest, I don't have a heck of a lot of goals for the next 10 years. Um, I'm not a very good goal setter to be honest. <coughs> oh. Maybe stop smoking. I'm totally kidding, I don't smoke. I don't have any goals run down for the next 10 years. I just hope that we are happy, that we're in a place where we can financially do things without having to count every dollar and and like look at labels of clothing and see how much they are and look at a holiday and go, oh, if only. You know, it would be great to be in a financial position to just enjoy the spontaneity of life a little bit more. The next two questions were my most asked questions and they were asked so many times. Will there be baby number four? That question needs to be in a separate vlog, but the short answer is maybe. And 30, will you document that journey? If we end up having baby number four, of course I would definitely document that journey. I would feel really bad for that kid if I didn't document the journey and I did the other three. Bonus questions, what kept me positive throughout the fertility journey? Definitely my husband and just hope. Hope, faith and husband. And because those are cheesy, another thing that kept me positive throughout my fertility journey was just knowing and I know this is going to be hard for some people right here, and it was hard for me to tell myself this too, but knowing that if I didn't have children, it was not the end of the world. It sucked, and it hurt, and it broke my heart, but I just had to remind myself that I had so many more years to live, and so many things to do with my life, and that if I didn't end up having children, that is just a part of my life that was not going to happen, but it was not the end of the world, and I had to really remind myself that. Did your family say anything negative about doing fertility treatment? No, none of them really cared. I guess they didn't really realize what we were going to be going through. Didn't really say anything. Very last question, bonus question. Do we have financial support from family to do IVF? No. All right, so that is my 30 questions for my 30th birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully I can bang out some more videos for you guys, including what is going on with Micah's baby blanket and what is my business? Two of my most frequently asked questions along with are you having baby number four? These videos, I need to crank them out and I am so sorry and I hope you forgive me that I have just been so slack this year. You will understand why when I show you how my business is going, it's just been going crazy. It's been going super crazy and taking up all my time. Not to mention three kids takes up a lot of my time too. But I honestly, I miss you guys and I just so thankful for the ones that have stuck around and I, yeah, I'm truly sorry and please forgive me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog. Whatever that might be. Thanks for watching. See ya.